Last night I put out a thing on Instagram and I said, if I win a hole, what do I take? And everyone said, take <laughs> yeah. Mike's driver. Oh, so the, on this the, hole the of bum, all the holes. The bumblebee is heading into my bag. All right, guys, we're back at one of our favorite spots, Wild Turkey at Crystal Springs, and we're gonna be doing a challenge that comes directly from your suggestion. Yeah, it's an interesting one. It sure is. So we're gonna play match play, 18 hole match play. But here's the kicker. If you win a hole, you can steal a club <laughs> from the other guy. So it gives you that advantage. You take that club out of his bag. So there's gonna be some strategy. It might come to blows. I've been thinking about this all night. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. He knows here. how he's gonna, uh -huh. he's gonna get me. But anyway, we're gonna take one thing off the table, putters. You can't steal a putter because to be honest with you, it's gonna, if you win the first hole and take a guy's putter, it's gonna be a long scramble back. So you, you can either do that, you can either take a club or if you win a hole, you can get, steal one of your clubs back. So the idea will be win as many holes, steal as many clubs and make it harder and harder on the other guy. So if I win the first five holes, you're in trouble. Then you take five clubs off me. It's gonna be back to the old three club challenge that we did. <laughs> so this one's gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna be the format. By the way, huge thank you for the suggestions for everyone who suggested this challenge in the comments. Keep those comments coming. If you guys got a suggestion for something else you wanna see us do, we're all about coming out here and having a little bit of fun. So let's have fun with it. Also, this video is sponsored by ShotScope. Guys, if you haven't checked out ShotScope yet, you see us using it in every single video. We're gonna have our distances to the pins, the hazards on the watch, and it's gonna be tracking all of our stats as as we're out there. It's the world's smartest golf watch. Check them out. Go to shotscope.com slash golficity. Thanks to Shotscope for sponsoring this video. Let's get out there. Yeah, let's do this thing. Let's see I'm who pumped. wins this first hole, man. Let's go. All right, Mike, explain to them why you're out of breath. So I took my Scotty out at home to roll some putts on the mat last night to prep. Left it in my office. So being lazy, not taking my old putter out of the car helped me today because my old ping was in the trunk. So I have a putter. So he had to run back to the car back. and get his putter. Let's go. Zero percent make percentage from that distance, so push. All right, so push on the first. So we still have, we still both have all 14 clubs. But by the way, I don't think I mentioned this. You see our rides today, the golf boards. These things we have a lot of fun with. These things when we're here, get around quick too. There he goes. Look, there he is. I have never, not once, played this hole well. Yeah. Not ever. I think I probably played this hole. Six times, I've never hit the green. It's just totally in my head. All right, we're on the third. I won the last hole, which you know what that means, right? Now I knew going in you'd win two because I can't play two. The good news is, yeah, uh, well, wait what a are you taking? Um, I think driver's like the obvious play, but I don't think you're gonna hit it anyway. Well, maybe you will. Let's take Four it. Four or five. We're taking driver. The good news is I can beat you without that clock. I know. That's the problem. The good news is I can beat you with the three wood. All right, let's see it. Okay, my man just stole my driver at the perfect time, apparently, because we are faced here with a 520 yard par five. So let's see what he does with his driver. Three wood off the tee, like a PGA Tour pro. Probably would hit three wood here anyway. Come on. You know, I got too too much here. Well, you're driver bombing might be that too, TS, dude. The no driver way. might be too much on a 500 yard par. <laughs> All right, concede. I guess I concede, right? No, it's red. You could drop hit oh, three drop up, there. up there. Yeah, you're still in it. All right, I'm in a prime position here. 200 yards out, par five. I'm gonna try to get it home with a hybrid. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hit this five iron. Maybe I won't take the five iron. Not bad place to be in a par five. All right, so Mike is quickly putting me in quite a hole, or I should say I've put myself in quite a hole because I played that last hole like trash. So he's about to steal another club from me, but 
where I see a glimmer of hope is Mike's not playing too spectacular right now either. On that par five, he was middle of the fairway, only 200 out, and he bogeyed it. So, I think I can beat him if I can just get my game in order, even though I'm gonna be down two clubs. But let's see what club he's about to take off of me right now. All right, Mike, decision time. You just took another hole off of me, and that's my uh, fault because I trashed that hole. But what do you want to take here? What do you want to take right, off? I don't, think I, I don't think you're gonna trust that three wood again. I think you're gonna hit iron here, five iron maybe, maybe four iron which then is going to leave you another 200 left in. So you're probably going to want to use that twice. So that's the club I'm taking. What iron? Two, the five iron. Five iron. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to get too attached to those clubs. I'm getting them back. All right, unfortunately, Frank is all out of sorts right now. You know, he's rushing, he's trying to get some camera shots, he's trying to get his golf shots. It's the common problem we face out here in Golficity every single time we film out on the course, trying to keep up with the pace of play and bringing you guys really cool content. So Frank's a little flustered, but it looks like he's gonna be going for it. He's all the way down there because he pull hooked his hybrid net. He probably wouldn't have used on this hole, so the strategy played off of taking that driver pretty early. I'm in good shape, I'm in the middle of the fairway. I hit a good drive here, I'm only gonna have about 130 in, so I should be able to get on the green here. All right, Frank's gonna give it a rip. And let's see what he does. The uphill battle gets worse. Today's one of those days, everyone's had them. I have no golf game today. I'm playing atrociously, and it's crazy because I just played really well last week at Pound Ridge. That's the game, it comes and it goes. You gotta find a way to still make it happen. Here's the deal though. Scoring update, I am now, Mike is now three up. I'm three down through four. So he's gonna take another club. Let's see how well Frank does with his fish and his chips, folks. <laughs> so he's taking my 52 degree wedge. And here's the thing, it's just gonna get worse and worse because not only do I have to come back from three down, I have to do it now with, what do I have got? No driver, no five iron. No driver, no five iron, no 52. Frank, this hole's yours, I concede. Well listen, now I gotta think strategy because you hit your driver excellent the first four holes, but then just now you drove two into the woods. I've seen you hurt yourself before with the driver, so do I want to take it, or would that just be helping you? I don't know. Well, I've got a couple shots here to think about it. <laughs> Finally got a hole. Here's where the strategy comes in. Do I take one of my clubs back, or do I steal one of his clubs? <sighs> Tough to say. I think I'm gonna even the score a little bit. Let me get that TS back. You know I need it. Plus, if you remember, this is the hole where I drove the green one. It sure is, that's why I knew you were taking it back. <laughs> Hey Frank. I missed you so much. Frank, you're up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a good thing he hasn't taken my eight iron. Just off the back of that green. All right, this is the challenging seventh hole, the cavern hole. As you could see, it's pretty tricky. You gotta carry this whole amazing cavern here. And I think this is where the strategy is gonna kick in. So I won that last hole with a par. I'm back up three. So Frank, I think 172, 170 wind at our back. 170 wind at our back. I think that's your six iron. Pick whatever you want, because I don't hit anything well right now. <laughs> okay. Pick you you want. heard it right there. I could take anything. I'm going with the six iron. Let's grab it. 180 shot, I just realized I don't have a club to get there now because you took my five and my six. Exactly. Use the hybrid, hit it soft. No. <laughs> Hold it. All right, Frank overshot the green here on seven, so let's see if he could tuck this close, put the pressure on me. All right. That could give him the hole if he makes that. Oh, my. Okay, so now I got more strategy here. I got you on that hole. So what that make you? It's your two up now. Still? I'm two up. 
two up through seven. seven, right? I still gotta make, make up some ground. Now, I would desperately love to get old fish and chips back because I use it for chipping around the green, but I'm adapting with my 48. I think what I'm gonna do is just throw a wrench in your thing and I'm gonna take that driver. Cause here's the other thing too is, last night I put out a thing on Instagram and I said, if I win a hole, what do I take? And everyone said, take yeah. Mike's driver. Oh, so the, on this the, hole the of all the holes. The bumblebee is heading into my bag for this right. hole. Now I get to see. And we've got a 428 yard par, oh, it's a short par five though. This is a par five. 428. Yeah, but you know how much I want to feast on that. He wants driver. to feast. All right, let's go. There he is. Looks like an old Pro V1X. So we're gonna take that. But I did see it before. It is right here. There she is. It's buried. It's gonna be tricky. I tell you guys what, I am feeling it being down a couple clubs, especially these couple strategic clubs. Like, I'm just not used to chipping with my 48. I'm the type of guy who likes to just chip with one club, more or less. So not having the 54 in the back as my chips is just kind of taking me out of my element in certain areas and it's just making it harder to win these holes back. So it is a, it is a significant challenge, that's for sure. Nice to have that driver, huh? Feels good having her back. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so here's the problem yet again. You only have one of my clubs right now, but you've got five. five. Iron. That's what you need here. I think so, because this is 225 to the back pin, but playing severely downhill. So I'm thinking it's more like a what, 180 shot? I think it's a 180, 185 shot. You're right, and that's your five iron. That's my five iron. So now I'm thinking uh, maybe I hit less, maybe I hit the six and just have a longer putt. Like hit it's the uphill. front of the green. Yeah, that putt will be uphill. It will be. Personally. Where's this wing? Wait, let's see what the wind is. Oh, it's it's at our back. You go six iron. I think I'm gonna go six iron, and in worst case, I just hit the front of the green and putt. Better uh, than going yeah. over. I'm gonna trust five, and I'm gonna put it in the hole. Nice to have your club. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice. Wait, check that. Because I'm only one down, I forgot. I thought I had gotten my six back from him, but I didn't. He has my five and my six because I took his driver. So now what? Now I gotta play an easy four iron because I can't get a seven there. All right, probably one of the best up and downs I've had all season. 56 yards off the right side of the green. I got it up to about seven feet. As you can see, rolled in that bad boy for par, took the hole. That means I get to take a club. A great par. What and do you I'm want? taking my driver back on driver. this par five. This so here we go, baby. Back. All right. Big mistake here. Took a five iron here on 11. Probably should not have done that because this is where I am. So I took a drop here. It's a part five. So I'm here and hitting four. It's not the end of the world. But then again, it probably is. So let's see what happens. Up, right? I'm finding it next to impossible to make up the gap. So every time I knock on the door, I got back within one. The fact that you've got these clubs, I just, I'm at such a deficit. So for instance, that last hole, I'm 180 out in the fairway, right? Should be simple enough, but you've got my five and my six. So I try to hit a four. How am I gonna hit a four? One? I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not skilled enough of a golfer to make any club do whatever I want. 
So, couldn't make it happen. And now, you take another hole off of me. I'm up three. You're up three, but the problem is, it's like, uh, even up three, I feel like I can catch up. I can't catch up, I'm climbing, I'm pushing a rock up a hill. <laughs> yeah, you are. Here, trying to beat you with, all, with no club. Oh, by the way, I won that last hole, so. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. It's funny, we just keep going back to our driver, driver. Yeah, yeah, okay, so we'll put the back here. All right, guys, if you saw Frank's putting at Pound Ridge, you would know that I am not worried now, because he had a putt similar to this, if you remember, on that long par three. Oh, he learned to give it a little bit. I like it. He wants to prove me wrong. All right. Stop. Oh, I gave it to you. Oh, oh he almost two it. Hey, mark that. I wonder no, if I'm the kidding. pin wasn't in. If that would went. I know, maybe. All right, give me my driver back. Let's go to the next hall. Hey. While we're waiting on this group, give me that scorecard. I gotta make a more strategic decision. My question is, is it better to take one of the five, the, either the five or the six back or the driver? Because the five and the six is what's hurting me most. Yeah. I mean, right now we have a similar uh, hole than last hole. Yep. Looks like a short par four, short par four, so long with, par three. Without your driver, you're probably what, 200, 200 shot? Yeah. And then 165? Yep. Which is what, your seven? 165, yeah. So you'll be okay maybe on this hole. You know what? Driver I'm, would take all that out of play if you hit a good one. Then you got like... But the only hole that I see where I absolutely need driver coming up is 17, 577 yard mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what? I think I can win it back in time. Give me the six iron back. <laughs> all right. Keep the driver, give me the six iron back. The driver's weighing down my cart, by the, the way. problem I'm having is it's too... The, the problem I'm struggling with is it's too big a gap to yeah. miss two clubs in a row. You miss the driver, okay. You gotta hit three wood off the tee. Right. But missing That's two, the yes, five two, the five. The seven or the eight. Yeah. You know, the nine or the wedge. Come on, You man. gotta get them both. <laughs> but then you get, I was way too much gapped without the, the five or the six. Right. So, so I'm gonna keep hitting this hybrid or, or the three wood off the tee for now and, and win, win the driver back slowly. Right now, you're two up through 12. There's still time, baby. Okay, let's do it. You know, it's funny, when Frank hit that hybrid in the middle of the fairway, he goes, I don't even need driver, but that's where I disagree because I took out driver and I had a 75 yard approach shot where he had, what were you out there on the fairway? One, 150 out. So I had half the distance in than him, which got me on the green. So I disagree with that statement that you do not need driver. So. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Just pushed it a little off the green. <laughs> hey Frank, you left your your, your wedge. That's alright, because I'm going to take it anyway. Uh. You need that five iron. Up. I need it again. I need my five iron again. <laughs> alright, quick little scoring update. Frank did get one back on 12 to bring it to uh, down two, but now he's down three because I got one back right away with that par yeah. on 13. So now we are at a long par four. It's 187 yards. Wind is swirling too. So, and you need that five? I really would love a five right here. Okay, feeling good about this Which, one? Which by the way, <laughs> if you're gonna take this challenge at home, and I do encourage you guys to take this challenge with a buddy, because it is a lot of fun. The key, get out to an early lead. Like I said, it's like pushing a rock uphill all day trying to catch this guy. He, got it, he jumped out to that early lead, he took my five iron and my six iron, and since then, I've been struggling with, with keeping up. I've always been down like two clubs. So, get out to that early lead if you play this challenge. It still, it still wasn't nearly enough club. There's the par he needed. All right, so I am down two with four to play. So I've got to push hard here, right? This is the strategy I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna put everything I got into winning this hole because I need my driver back on the hole after this. No, I have two more holes before I need my driver back on that par five, right? What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, instead of taking my driver back, I'm gonna take your driver away. <laughs> Wait, I wanna take you a little out of your comfort zone because I feel like all I've been doing is trying to get my own clubs back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take you out of your comfort zone, 
try to get a hold because I honestly, I think that's the only way I'm beating you right now. Well, here's the question. Can I use your driver? No. Okay. We're just taking them out of play. Okay, gotcha. We're just taking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll otherwise, I had, I trade to, one TS for another. I had to ask. I know. No, I'm going to take your driver, try to take you out of your comfort zone a bit, knowing you've got to win it back, put the pressure on to win it back before that 577 yard par five. Okay. All right. I like it. Go grab it. That's the only way is to, to kind of make you uh, a little less comfortable out here. You're too comfortable. Smart play, man. You're I like it. Too comfortable. I like it. All right. The 15th hole is a par four. 340 yards, 349 yards, so not terribly long. But you do have to place this tee shot well on the right side. I know that from playing here before. If you want a shot at this green, you've got to be on the right side or you get blocked out. Oh, he's right in good shape too. Keep that driver, baby. <laughs> Okay, I am down two with three to play. You've got a par, like that. <laughs> par three. All right. Par three, 165 yards straight into the wind, I think. Straight into it. Right? Seems that way. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's gonna play all of like 180, 190. Oh, great, another five iron shot that you've got my five iron? Yep. It's gonna be 190 to that back pin and with this wind. All right, I know that most of the pressure is resting on me here being two down. That's right. But. The next hole, 17, is that long par five. So, neither one of us has a driver. No. Nope, you've got mine, I've got yours. Big incentive to win this hole, get to get the driver, the driver back. back. But then again, if you win this hole, you win the match, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you've got enough incentive. Enough to win incentive there. to win. But if I win if this, you win, it might actually help you a lot because you'll... I could take one more club from you yep. and head in just one down. You know it's smart, take my three wood. Now you got driver three wood on a yeah. 577 par five. Yeah. There you go, I just helped you out. Yep. But right. I'm gonna win it anyway, right here. <laughs> Confidence. Oh. Down flop. Good putt. Oh, I was going there. Good putt. All right, that it? That's it, you took it. That was fun, man. Yes. That was fun. All right. So he got me three and two, three up, two to play. I'll tell you what, it just proved to be too much that early lead you jumped out yeah, to. Yeah, you're right. I, and I tell you, it, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of ways it was like the, um, the challenges we've done before, like the three club challenge, things like that, because not having the clubs made a huge difference. So I did, I mean, no matter what, you still learn something. Didn't have my game today at all. I'm trying to get off this green real quick because it's, it's crowded out here and there's people behind us. But anyway, um, definitely didn't have my game today. But the truth of the matter is, like I said, Mike jumped out to that early lead. He was like, what, you were three up through five, right? Three up through five, yeah. Yeah, he had my, my five iron at one point, my six iron, my driver, took my, my chipping club. And at that point, it's hard enough to beat him straight up when we play. But trying to play without three, four clubs in the bag makes it very challenging. So that one was fun, but it was definitely a challenge. I challenge you guys to challenge your friends to this exact same challenge and see how it plays out. Because it does make match play a lot tougher. There he is, the winner. I finally won a match. So he got one back on me. Can I please have my clubs back now? Yep, this is yours. Yeah, I know. There's a this lot of them in that bag. Give me one. Yeah, oh, keep, man, them, man. keep them coming. Keep them chips coming. I'm keeping. No, no, keep them coming. <laughs> Let's go.